February and things are starting to pop up now in the garden mostly daffodils and the odd daisy and anemone you can see this orange daisy very pretty and you can see these straw flowers you can see the background uh, and then you can see more spinach, cilantro, the anemone. The only anemone we have, I think there's a white one the other side. See the daffodils, a clump here, and then the big cluster of daffodils here. Check it out. The white narcissus are done. These are the bigger daffodils. Look at the Gazania, look how pretty that is. These I grew from seed uh, last year and then now they've really taken off. More daffodils. And then you can see the sweet alyssum is also doing great. see the peony coming up and then you can see sweet alyssum here all the ranunculus popping up along this another anemone here white one you can see all these daisies here the pom pom daisy i'll show more on the other side and then this is the freesia finally blooming after just being dormant last year There's several of them blooming you can see a lot of flower clusters here and then another gazania nice I'm really liking the sun now see this guy look at this Feels like spring. And there's a couple tulips. Tulips don't do that great here. You can see this one is multiplied. Short stem. Not super great, but still doing fine. We don't get the chillars, the climate here, I think. But yeah, they are popping up. Daffodils do fine, just fine. They don't need that much. It's chilling. The reds are all mostly seedling stage. And then of course the taters are doing great. The taters popping up. Have three varieties. Four seed potatoes in each. Doing pretty good. And you can see the other patch of daisies here. These pom pom daisies are great. Again, surviving from last year, divided them, and they really love this weather. And then there is this uh, gladioli that's almost blooming. That's strange. They're blooming really early for gladioli, like late February. And this rose we got from Home Depot is doing great. And some of the primroses are okay. Not that great. We got these new double primroses this week and they look really cool. Not seen these before. So hopefully they'll do well. Another pom pom daisy. This guy came up from a random seed in another pot so moved it here. More primrose, not so great. It's okay. This one's okay. It's all from last year. And then these carnations we got last weekend. It's uh, pretty good. Got three different colors. There's this one, yellowish, orange one, and there's a pink one with focuses, and then slightly different pink. Yeah. So hopefully that'll do well. And I can see some of these 
fuchsias and other flowers here. That's about it here. Oh yeah, some more of these gladiolides, early gladiolides blooming. You can see the flower spike slowly coming up. This is the front yard. You can see the sanity has just stolen the show. Some cilantro and some more uh, carnations from last year, which is doing quite well. You can see the sanity is just going bonkers. And then there are some uh, over here. Because the tulips quite well popping up this is a new bulb this year these are harlequin flowers hopefully that'll do well you can see a few crocus in the back they didn't do great but it's okay it's what it is that's about it here and these are the orchids they got a new dendrobium this year it's pretty good full bloom full bloom and then this is a fowl from last year, it's already bloomed. It's doing pretty well. See all the buds, so the second spike behind there. And then that's not just that. You can see another fowl here with two spikes. Looking really good. This one we got last year, again it's three blooms, a huge one. This guy. So massive flower spike and then there, this guy also has a flower spike here you can see this one and then there's one in the back here with two more flower spikes so orchids are going nuts it's good and then yeah start uh, putting them on the shelves once they uh, start blooming fully and then lastly I have my pansy seedlings slowly coming up really slow to grow but hopefully get some pansies later this spring got some petunias and some other stuff here too but mostly pansies that's about it